Hi, I'm Joss Whedon. You're watching RT10. If we can't protect the Earth, you can be damn sure we'll avenge it. You've said before that you are a workaholic. You have so many works coming up now, and so many of those works individually will collectively lead to Avengers 2. How do you collate all of that information to put it into one film? Well, Avengers 2 is its own thing. Um, it, uh, I mean, I've been working for Marvel uh, now as a sort of consigliere of, you know, just sort of looking over all, all of the, their films, which is great fun for me. Um, and I love those people and I love working with them. Um, and it does sort of help feed, you know, well, where I'm going. But the Avengers um, is its own animal now. It was harder the first time. We had to sort of bring everybody together. We had to convince people they could all be in the same movie. Um, that's done. And so now it's just, you know, it's just pure storytelling. And um, it's enormous fun. Gentlemen. What are you prepared to do? No offense, but I don't play well with others. Big man in a suit of armor. Take that away, what are you? A uh, genius, billionaire, playboy, philanthropist. <laughs> now that you're so heavily embedded in the Marvel world, is there any chance that you will come back, or I know you've spoken about it before, to the DC world of Wonder Woman? <laughs> um, well, I've not been asked back. And uh, um, at present, I don't think uh, I don't think there's really an opportunity there. So I don't want to dash your hopes, but uh, it's not looking great. I've come up with a very original character of my own called Wondrous Gal, and I think she's gonna, you know, she's a flamazon. It's very original. We will see some some new faces in Avengers too, but they will be from the Marvel universe. Uh, um, and, you know, I'm always trying to get more girls in the mix. From comic books and where it all began, really, um, when you look back at the, the inspirators like the Stan Lees, and how, what influence did that have on you growing up? Well, enormous influence that I'm only beginning to realise uh, the extent of. I've been going through my old comics, and the more I see, the more I realise how much I've been stealing. And also how much the sort of rhythms and visual style of my storytelling has been influenced by reading those books since I was a kid. What about your own son? Has he read your X-Men? He has, actually. He just has. Um, I think he liked it. <laughs> <laughs> Would you love to do more of the comics? You're so busy with the writing, producing, directing, composing, everything. You know, the, uh, it's tough because uh, the Marvel Universe has been around for a long, long time. And in the filmed universe, it, we're fairly fresh and we're, we're sort of inventing as we go along. Um, it's hard to think of, you know, and I take my hat off to the people who do, think of how to, how to make it fresh, how to, how to, you know, do something new. Um, I loved working on the X-Men. I loved that work, that and Runaways, as much as anything I've done. But um, I guess my brain is just full. <laughs>